Hey guys, Joe from SimVR Labs here, and we're going to do the part 3 of the Come Labs With Me series, where we fix up the LET 410 for VR. Uh, let's jump right into it. We're going to finish up this AC3D work, um, and really, uh, it's pretty well finished at this point. Um, what I've done is, if you look at the gear, you notice last time we were working on the gear uh, handle. Um, I went ahead and changed it to a gear handle down toggle and so when you click it you won't actually click it and pull it down uh, at this point uh, we may change that later but for now when you click it um, it has its own animation that's built in um, and it's just gonna click it down and click it back up I can't do it when I'm sitting here on the ground uh, it won't do anything because I'm not in the air uh, it's got some coding to where it won't actually do anything until there's no weight on the wheels which is cool uh, that's how it should be so um, yeah so that's done and I think we are pretty much done inside AC3D uh, for getting um, all of the actual manipulator work done we've added things that weren't in and that's the biggest thing you can do in AC3D is you can add uh, manipulator click spots and stuff that isn't already in and everything is in everything that wasn't in before is now added and so now we can start working a little bit different way uh, one thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change all those drag axis picks to drag axis um, and I'm gonna do a couple and then I'm gonna speed up the, vo the, the video so you can uh, so you can sort of watch me do it, but it'll be real quick and I can get through all 28 without you sitting there for an hour and watch me do a bunch of mundane work. Um, so let me just show you one uh, in AC3D and we'll change it in AC3D um, just so you can sort of get, understand the backbone of what uh, it is here. So let's close this. I'm going to click on this knob. Uh, pretty sure that's a drag axis pick. So if I go to explain objects properties, Yep, this is the NAV1 standby frequency kilohertz. Okay, now check it out. It says axis picks under kind. Uh, these numbers are, are what we care about and, and what they are. The distance in pixels is, is something we're not going to use in um, the drag axis. It's a different type of distance on the line. So um, we, we're not even concerned about that. Um, what we are concerned about is the step, the min, and the max. Exponent, we don't really, we're not really concerned about. That's a factor of uh, speed. It's kind of a curve speed factor. Uh, we don't care about that. Um, step is uh, how many, uh, how many steps it changes when you click it once. So the range in this thing is zero to ninety-five in steps of five. That's what we care about. We care about that this data ref changes from 0 to 95, that's its range, and it changes in steps of 5 each time. Now that's the small knob, okay? If I click on the big knob out here, that's the megahertz. That one is 108 to 117 in steps of 1. Okay, all that we really need to know, okay? So when I go to uh, make this an axis instead of an axis picks, which is... A, uh, a VR ready manipulator um, you'll notice that now I can it, it wants to set the axis X component at 250 meters that would give me a red and green and yellow line like that that crazy line you see in VR it would give me one 250 meters wide by one on the Y which is your up and down so now it would be like way left to right plus a little bit slanted up and down, so a little bit tilted, and then plus a little bit slanted in and out by a meter. So you see this thing will be like way off, and that's why a lot of your older planes you get in, and they're just completely broken in VR. It's because maybe it's an axis pix and it doesn't even work at all, or maybe it got changed to an axis, but the values never really got changed, so it's all messed up. Okay, So one thing I want to know is when I turn these knobs the way it is now do I click and drag left and right or up or down or how does he have it already so let's go in here and let's look at uh, you know nav 1 this would be kilohertz okay so I'm gonna click and I'm gonna drag up so up does nothing down does something kinda quickly left so left and down 
is how he has it now up and left. Let's see. Okay. Let's go this way. Let me try to rotate around here. Because that's kind of bizarre. Okay, so up, left does nothing, down does nothing, and right. So up and right. So I think what people are going to want to do is go left and right. Right? And so this one here, okay, is not even a drag because I think I changed that to a knob. I did. This is the one I changed to a knob. Um, and the megahertz doesn't even seem to work at all on nav2 standby megahertz doesn't work at all okay so we'll fix those um, okay that's that's left and down okay so left and down so it's kind of weird I, so I'm gonna change it to keep it a drag for the people who don't want to fly VR for the people who do fly VR I'm gonna change it to a knob you do that in the VR config you leave it as a drag in the regular cockpit OBJ but in the VR config you can do what's called access to knob conversions at least that's what I call them and you can take a drag axis change it to an axis knob so that when you grab it with the VR controller you do a roll with your wrist and it works like a knob but when you're not in VR it keeps the drag axis for the people that are not in VR so it's kind of the best of both worlds you just have to know kind of what you're doing um, that's a left to right on the autopilot there Let's see vertical speed. Ver this is only the vertical speed knob. Um, yeah. So ATC. This is going to be our um, let's see. Where's the knob for that? I'm trying to get some more light here. There we go. Uh, the ident oh okay so that's the left so left and right on that one and left and right <coughs> on that one. so left and right seems to be the way so when you're doing it let's go back here okay we're going to change this to an axis so left and right is what we want and and generally you want about 0.15 of a meter okay it's not much it's not 250 meters for sure about 0.15 of a meter and then nothing on the Y because I don't want any tilt up and down and nothing on the Z because I don't want any tilt in and out. Okay, so that's going to give me a perfect left and right. All right. And I want to keep it minimum of 108, maximum of 117. And then it's going to pick, it's going to adjust the step for me. Okay, so um, I'll leave it rotate large. I'll keep the data ref the same. And that's what I want. So I'm actually going to do this now in manually I'm gonna do this one manually I'm gonna do them all manually but I'm just showing you what it looks like when I do it in AC 3d um, and the other thing you can look at is we can go back into that um, obj8 file format specifications that Bible that I have linked uh, down below and uh, you can type in you can go find access knob and here it is. The cursor, which is going to be rotate large or rotate small or whatever it is. The minimum, which was zero. The maximum, which was 95. Click delta is the step, how many times you want it to step. And then hold is if you're going to hold down that button, um, how many times it's going to go. That was axis knob. Now we're actually doing drag axis. So drag axis is nip, drag axis here we go x y and z right just like i showed you so the x would be point uh one five the y would be zero this would be zero this would be the bottom of the data ref this would be the top of the data ref then what the data ref is right and it sets its own steps uh, and it usually knows and it always pretty much gets it right so let's go in here to the first drag axis picks that we have search find uh, axis picks right and that's the last one let's wrap all the way back down this is the first one that comes up in the obj should be or actually is it moving backwards what do we got going on let's see this picks yeah let's go back to the first one 
and all the way up to the top in the backward direction. Oh, that was it. Let's go forward, forward, forward. Right there. That's the first one. Nav 1 OBS degree mag pilot. Okay. Right now it's set uh, 1 is the step. Okay, and this other one is the, the exponent that we don't care about. It's negative 720, 720 by ones. Okay, I don't care about the by ones because our thing doesn't do that. So all it is is X, Y, Z, and then the data ref just leave it. So what we're going to do is we're going to take out the word, the underscore and the word picks. Boom. Now it's a drag axis, rotate medium. I take out the 5,000 because it doesn't matter. I take out the one and the one. I'm going to change it to 0.15. 0 and 0. I gave it 0.15 on the X, nothing on the Y, nothing on the Z. The bottom of the data ref is negative 720. The top is negative 720. That's a done deal. Okay, that's going to be a side-to-side -side drag. I'm going to go on to the next one. Drag axis. It's another rotate medium, so I know it's another knob. Same thing. It's got 5,000, 1 and 1. I'm going to change that to 0 0.15, 0 and 0. Negative 720 to 720. Keep the data ref the same. Same thing. Make that a drag axis. This is a rotate medium. Prop heat on. Okay. So this one's going to be a little bit different, but um, it's all the same stuff. It's going to be 0 0.15, 0, and 0, and 0 to 1 is the data ref range. Done. Okay. This one is already a drag axis. Instrument light knob. See, they did the same thing, but it's a it's 0.15 on the Y. It's got nothing on the X, 0.15 on the Y. That means people aren't used to dragging and clicking up and down, and that changes the lights on the light knob. Okay, I'm going to leave that the same since that's how it is. All right. Um, keep on going. Here's another drag axis. Same thing. This one's got a 0.1 on the X and also a 0.1 on the Y. Nothing on the Z. A 0.1 on the X and a 0.1 on the Y means it's a tilt. It's kind of like a it's kind of like a left and right plus an up and down. It gives a sort of a slant. And so it's an angled deal. He's got an angled deal on the artificial horizon adjust. Okay. Let's go in and look at that. Here's the artificial horizon adjust. All right. That should be that knob. Or wait, let's hide this guy. That's it right there. Yep, just like that. Up and down with a slant. I go straight up and down, it still works. I go left and right, it works, but slowly. So that's why he's got the slant in there, because um, it just makes it feel more natural. I'm going to leave that one alone. So really all I want to do is change all the picks so that this all works in VR. Okay, I'm going to find the next picks. We'll go barometer. We'll go ahead and make that a, a left to right. 0.15, 0, 0. Right, and it's 20 to 40. And it's going to set itself. Okay. I'm going to go to drag axis picks. Now, when I set these to a knob, I am going to need to know the steps of how they go. So, I need to know the <coughs> control Z on that. See how that one changes in steps of... This one changes in steps of... Point zero 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 one. Okay, I need to know that it's twenty to forty and changes in steps of point zero 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 one. So what I'm going to start doing is I'm going to start pounding them out. Now, pounding them out means I'm going to put a pound sign or, or a hashtag, however you want to say it, in front of this line. Remember that's going to skip this line. I'm going to leave it there for for reference so I can go back and do it again. Okay, and I'm going to. So I can go back and see what it was. It's going to be ignored by X-Plane, but it's there so I can see what I changed it from. Okay, so now I'm going to change this one. Drag, rotate medium, 0.15, 0 and 0. So now I know when I make that conversion in my VR config, um, I know what the step was. Does that make sense? And I can go back and I can do that to all of these. Um, same deal here. 
Matter of fact, I'm going to go by, go down, and I'm going to do that a pound and a space next to all of them so I don't forget. Okay, so now that that's done, we are going to just take a look real quick and make sure I don't have any syntax errors. So it won't it won't work at all if I go like like see that see how I deleted that space and I left a it, there's like no space there mess the whole thing up. If I have different numbers running into different numbers, that'll mess things up. You obviously have to have it looking looking correct. Um, make sure I have all my little pound signs in front of the lines I want to pound out. Now a couple housekeeping items before I call this uh, our good cockpit OBJ so we can go forward in VR. Um, I noticed down here that there's a light so it says light name. Normally there's not a light in a cockpit OBJ. This aircraft has one. Uh, I've run into it a couple other times. Um, AC3D usually doesn't know what to do with it, so it's put it's put like some coordinates on it, but that's not the only thing that goes into a light. So I know that this is kind of messed up, and I think this has something to do with the error that I was getting uh, earlier that you saw in uh, in episode one. So I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna look up the original. Remember, I saved the original for this very reason, just in case something like this pops up. We're going to add all these in in a minute, but let's go look at that light and we'll just kind of, so it's a light param and see how it's got the coordinates, uh, 814, 8141413746814, yeah, 140. That's fine. These coordinates are correct, but it doesn't have any of this information. This is like the spill, the X, Y, and Z, and then the spill rate and all these other weird, like, light things going on and I'm just going to take this whole line and I'm going to copy it over and paste it in here um, and I think that's going to fix some lights so before I save that and test it let's let's do something real quick let me kill the lights on this All right I'm going to go to nighttime now uh, let me turn the flashlight on Aviation flashlight. Okay. So we have two light switches here. If I go this one and I roll it up. Okay. So that's your instrument lights. And this is your dome light. And see how dome light is not actually doing anything. Okay. And that's probably our problem. So let me save this. Now that I've made that change, let me save that. I think this is going to fix it. I'm going to come in here and I'm going to reload. And all those changes I just made, all those drag axis picks are now drag axes. Um, that should all be changed now in this new cockpit OBJ that's loading right now. And that light uh, should hopefully be working. Check it here in a second. All right, and I can already tell you that looks brighter, right? So that uh, dome light is, why are you not hiding? The dome light is definitely working. There. Uh, this mouse steering gets on my nerves. Okay. Yes. See how that goes in and out? Boom. That's working now. That's working. And this is working. Okay, so that housekeeping item is done. Uh, you can see that our 
Let's turn this dome light up here. Let's just check. Let's see. Right. Let's see if our overhead light, the lighting taxi, is that on or off? I don't even know if. Is that on? I don't know if down is on or light, or down is off. Let's see, what lights do I have on? Turn those off. Position lights, are those all off now? Okay, let's see here, what do we got? All right, we've got some sort of what looks like a landing light, maybe. Yeah, that's a landing light. And we've got our beacons on. So where are those at? Anti-collision beacon. How's that off now? Yes, the beacon's off, the nav lights are on. Okay, so down is off. So position lights. Landing lights. You know what? That might be some sort of. There's. A, it's a three position. Ah, yeah, three position in the middle is off. Okay. Well, sorry. I'm learning the aircraft too, just like you guys. Um. So okay. Well, that fixed that. Um. Let me just check a couple of things and make sure some of our drag axes are working. Uh. Transponder. We know we changed these knobs. Okay. There, that's working. That's obviously... So, what's happening here is because it's a 0.15, I don't have a very large axis for such a huge number to roll on, right? It's going all the way from 0.763 to that. And so, if I wanted to go to like 2441, it would be really hard. So, I have to change that from 0.15 to make it much bigger. Maybe 0.3, maybe twice as big. Um... And then over here's my that one thing that I made a knob, and that one's fine. Um, and the standby one doesn't work. <coughs> okay, so we will we will work on fixing that. Let's see what else might be messed up a little bit. And we can we can deal with all this a little bit later. The heading seems so heading's kind of an up down. That's super sensitive. Um, where are we at with uh, this guy? Oh, that's much better. Actually, I don't think I changed that. I think that's where he had it. So that's good. Um, what else we got? We got GPS stuff here. Let's go. I don't think he had that as a PIX. What else was a PIX? these yeah yeah it's gonna be really hard to same thing it's just gonna be really hard to dial it in perfect on a 0.15 so I'll change those to maybe 0.3 oh that one's not bad and that one yeah that's not bad either I can actually do that. So the radios aren't bad. Let's try this guy. Same thing. So all my 0.15s that I did, I think I want to change them to about 0.3. Now these covers, I, you know, the covers, okay. The covers, I made them on the X but clearly you'll want them on the Y, right? So I'll actually change those to the Y instead of the X. They're good, they're working fine. Just wanna change those. I'm not sure that one ever actually worked. I wanna make them intuitive like they should be. They should be, like that one's fine. But see, even that one's, even that one's X, Y. I mean, I'm looking at it like this, from an angle, from the pilot's perspective. So to open and shut it, it would be kind of on the X. But 
to open and shut. Well, from the pilot's perspective, for these covers, yeah, it's definitely, <coughs> yeah, it's definitely probably better to go Y than X Y on these. So whatever these covers are, that one's not bad. Uh, yeah. Yeah, so whatever these covers are here on the console, I want them to be on the Y, not the X. Okay, uh, the other housekeeping item I want to do, I can change those uh, as we as we roll through on the VR um, portion of this thing. The other housekeeping thing I wanted to do was get the PBR in there so I can add the texture lit and the texture normal to it. And I'll go in and I'll do the global cockpit lit. Here, right? And I like to kind of mirror the original. It doesn't really matter the, the uh, order that these things are in, but I'm going to cut this. I'm going to paste it here to make sure it's kind of like the same order there. Same order there, so it's global cockpit lit and then the point counts, and then texture, texture lit, and texture normal. Right? Get rid of that space just for formatting, make it nice and pretty. And that's it. So that's got our, our light fixed. It's got all of our drag axis picks changed to things that'll work in VR. And it's got our normal maps in there. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and reload them. See if we can't tell a difference in maybe the glass reflections or something that we didn't have before. Get back into daytime. Okay. Turn that flashlight off. All right. Let's get back in the daytime here. Look around, see what we can see. Yeah, I don't think he's got a. Let's see. Oh, okay, so there's reflection in the glass. Yeah, reflection on the instruments, no doubt. Reflection on the instruments. What else we got? Where's the normal maps in the cockpit over here? So you have normal maps on the fuselage. Let's see. Where's the sun? There's the sun. There it is, there's that shine. Yeah, nice. Very nice. Yeah, that's nice. Okay, let's go in here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Definitely has got some nice, uh, use a little normal PBR love on the, uh, on the windshield class. But, uh, man, even, even this class here is beautiful. I mean, look at that. <laughs> you see the sun in it. That's great. Okay. Uh, and actually, I mean, you know, that's pretty good. What is that? Let's see. Is that baked in? It's kind of like some baked in dirt. That's nice, man. I like it. I like it. Okay, so that's it for 2D. We are we are set and uh, ready to start making our VR config file. Okay, so let's do that, and we are going to 
get into that and tune up our yoke to start with. We'll get that working correctly with the VR controller. And then what we're going to do is we're going to just pick sections to work on in VR. So we'll do the overhead and everything in the overhead, get that working well with our VR controller. And then I'll probably come over here and do the whole panel starting from the left side, every knob, everything that I can find to get it working all the way over here to get all that working right with the VR controller. Then we'll do the center console, get it all working with the VR controller, and then anything else we might have left, and then any kind of click spots that we find that we might uh, want to add, we can save that cockpit OBJ and the VR config once it's all tuned up, and we can go back into AC3D and add any more click spots. For example, let's say we come back here and we find a door that opens, right? Like say this door right here, does it open? Yes, it does. And say there wasn't a click spot. Say there's a click spot on the inside, but you come out here to the outside and he's got a wall right there. I'm gonna take that wall out so we can s slip through it. Um, and then he's say on the outside, he, there's no click spot. There is on the inside, but not the outside. Well, I can add that easily in, in uh, AC3D. So that'll be the final thing we do is to import everything we fix back into AC3D, make sure everything's good to go, and then that'll be it. So we are uh, coming into some of the nitty gritty here. You're about to see uh, some of the real most important parts that you've uh, that you've all been wanting to see how to do, and that's to work in the VR config file and how it all interacts with the cockpit OBJ, uh, specifically how to get this yoke working and uh, everything like that. So we'll see you uh, on the next part, part four. And I uh, hope you guys have a good night.